Talo Falava. Today we're going to make a collagraph fish. What you'll need are piece, two sheets of A4 paper and I've got here some coloured card but you can use any type of card like recycled tissue box papers or cereal boxes or any thicker card that you can find around the house. You'll also need a pencil to draw on, some glue stick, I've got a pair of scissors here and a couple of crayons, but you can use whatever colour you wish. What we want to do is draw our fish onto the card. And to draw a fish, I want to choose the blue one. I'm going to do a really simple shape. Okay, half circle and another half circle and then just a triangle at the end. So that's the basic fish shape. And what you then need to do is cut it out. But I've just added these lines so I remember not to cut there, otherwise it's going to fall apart. So I've cut out my fish and you can always reuse the scrap piece of paper to make the next step. The next step you want to do is glue it onto your A4 size paper. That's just so it doesn't move much. So you just glue it on. The next step is to add some details to our fish. So we could just pencil in this bit and maybe fill it with some triangles. So what we could do is grab an opposite color just so you can see what's happening here and trace over some triangles. But I found that the easiest way to make a curve is to use the piece that was cut out before and just line it up with where your line is. Don't worry about the pencil showing through because we're not going to see that. And then you just trace around the curve. So cut that bit out. Just cut it easy like this. So what we're trying to do here is build layers of the card. Not too many layers because then it won't show through. You just want one or two layers. So I've got my little curve here to stick onto the fish. And you glue that on. And you just continue by adding other shapes to it. Here I'm just cutting out different size triangles. You can place them in a straight line if you wish, but I'm just going to make them in random places just to make it a little bit more interesting and creative. We need to cut some more. Can you see that? Uh, make a big one here. So there I've cut out my four circles and glued them on. So then you choose a crayon. What I've got here is like a brown color and just the blue. And I thought, oh, I thought blue would look nice on yellow paper, but you can choose whatever color you want. So we know the image of the fish is underneath. What you want to do is kind of feel where the edge is. So if you place your hand where there is no fish, you, take, you use the side of the crayon and you slowly rub it just to get a feel for it. It doesn't have to be hard. Just do it lightly to get the shape 
so you know the outline of your fish. And watch what happens. So here I'm trying to get all the edges and just move your crayon around just to grab the edges that don't show up like in these spaces. You just rub over it gently. If you want the shapes to appear darker, then you can rub a little bit more over the top or a little bit firmer. Now I want the eye to come up, so I'm going to just rub a little bit firmer over it. Now because I have the sellotape here, I can move my hand now to the center to capture all the triangles that I've put in without worrying that it will move. And I'm moving down to the tail end. So you can take your time with this because it's quite a fun process. So there we have our collagraph fish and what you can do is add some color. So I had this brown, uh, I might add it to the eye or the face area just to darken it a bit, the tail, just to make it a little bit more 3D like with the colors. Just have fun with it. Use any colors. It could just be bright colors if you wish. There, so it's a little bit purpley blue fish. I hope you enjoyed that process. I certainly did. Feel free to show me what you've made.